Hi, I'm your favorite dysfunctional scientist, and I'm here to tell you that there are two separate apocalypses going on under our noses, and you should absolutely be concerned. If you're not, let me try to convince you. The first of which is chronic wasting disease, which is causing the deer apocalypse. Chronic wasting disease is a prion disease similar to bovine spongiform encephalopathy. It happens when a misfolded protein bumps into other proteins and acts in an infectious manner and causes them to essentially turn inside out and form plaques. It is a 100% fatal disease in deer populations, and in some areas of the United States we've seen as much as 40% of deer being infected with it. We've also seen a 20% decline in deer across the United States, and if you're thinking that this is localized, it's not. It's rapidly spreading across Europe, and it's been found in domestic populations in Asia. Fortunately, it seems that there's a pretty big species barrier to actually infecting humans. There is some evidence that it can infect humans that express our versions of the PRP proteins, which are the ones that would become misfolded. Scarier, it can travel through plants, so if an animal that's infected with it ends up decaying in an area, it has the possibility of being picked up by a plant and then being eaten. That is absolutely frightening. Fortunately, while right now it's sticking within deer and related populations, but that is no guarantee it will stay with them. The thing you have to know about self-replicating molecules is that they will self-replicate given any means necessary. That's kind of how life works. Prions are not alive. Not technically. The second one that we should all be far more frightened about is the bird apocalypse. H5N1 is spreading worldwide, and it's been found in bird populations across the United States. It has a near 100% fatality rate in birds. And humans are also getting it, mostly from contact with cattle, because it has jumped into mammals. And of course it has jumped to us, granted it's not spreading human to human right now. In humans, it has a mortality rate of around 60%. If you're wondering what the H and N means, it's just referring to a type of protein on that flu virus. Cattle are being hit pretty hard in the US right now, and unfortunately they're expiring in fields and carrion eaters, so things like crows and vultures, are now eating the cows, and there's a possibility of transmitting it to those birds as well, worsening the spread. Fortunately for us, there is a vaccine that's been developed. What you can do is pressure your politicians to make these vaccines available before it becomes a crisis. 